Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T480S laptop for use in 2023 and onward. So this T480S is running Windows 11 with an Intel Core i5-8350U 4-core 8-thread CPU and currently installed we have 24 gigabytes of 2400 MHz DDR4 memory. Now it's important to know that 8 gigabytes is soldered onto the motherboard so you are limited to an expansion of 24 gigabytes total with a 16 gigabyte RAM stick. And this one has a 14 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 display panel with Intel UHD graphics 620. For storage we have a 240 gigabyte Patriot P310 NVMe solid state drive. Other features are a 720p webcam, Intel dual band wireless AC 8265 Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth 4.1. A characteristic of this era of ThinkPads, we have the six row keyboard with the red track point and the nice touchpad with the three buttons on top, which is awesome. So you can use both interchangeably. And we have a two tier backlit system on the keyboard. For the case material, we have the display cover with a carbon fiber reinforced polymer and the bottom being magnesium. For input output, we have the USB Type-C port for the power adapter, a USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 2 with Thunderbolt 3 with the function of power delivery and display port. And there we have another USB 3.1 port, RJ45 Ethernet port, HDMI, microphone and headphone input, and a multi-card SD card reader. Over here we have the optional smart card reader, another USB 3.1 port, there's the grill for the air exhaust from the CPU fan and the version of the Kensington lock. Now before we remove the back panel, we want to turn on the PC and start hitting the enter key until we see a menu. And then you want to hit F1 to enter the BIOS. Once here, navigate to config, down to power, and down to disable built-in battery. And system will be powered down if you select yes. Do you want to proceed? Yes. So let's take a look at the inside. To remove the rear panel, you'll just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And now you'll need something like a plastic guitar pick to score along the palm rest to remove the back panel. So here we have the integrated lithium ion 57 watt hour battery. Here's the port for the NVMe solid state drive. Up here is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And over here is an additional M.2 port for WWAN cards or something like this M.2 solid state drive where you can do things like dual boot Windows and Linux or set it up as an extra cache or just extra storage or whatever you like. Right here is the one available DIMM slot for RAM expansion. As I mentioned before, we have 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory soldered onto the motherboard and we have a 16 gigabyte RAM stick installed at equaling 24 gigabytes in total of 2400 megahertz RAM. And I've already done this but you can put new thermal paste on the CPU by just removing these four screws and pulling out the entire heat pipe and CPU fan, being careful not to unplug the fan, which will offer some extra cooling performance if this was sitting for a little while. Okay, I think that covers the basics. All right, we are back in at 720p resolution and already it's much better. Uh, there's far less stuttering. And look at that RAM usage, we're at 17 gigs of RAM usage, so having that 24 gigs installed, I'm guessing is a big help. So anyway, we'll call this totally playable, at least by my low-end standards. Here's something a little more applicable to the system, which is Left 4 Dead 2. And here we have a mixture of high to medium settings. And we're getting some pretty good performance. Uh, this game... We're hitting uh, over 80, 90, up to 100 frames per second. And that is more than enough to play this game. Alright, so I've got Tomb Raider 2013 loaded up and... I like testing out this last end of the game sequence because there's a lot going on and it's a pretty good benchmark of uh, how well the systems can handle these games, especially on the lower end. So I have it tuned to 1600 by 900 resolution and full screen. 
Right now we're averaging over 30 frames per second, so that's honestly all I really need to play this game. So would I recommend the Lenovo ThinkPad T4 ADS for use in 2023 and onward? Absolutely. Um, I think for general use and for general work, this is a solid laptop, especially with the 1080p display. It's nice and crisp. Myself personally, I use a T4 ADS for as a daily driver and it gets the job done. I don't really need anything else and I have less RAM installed than what I have in this video. So as you can see, you can play and stream 1080p video, do a variety of different options Office work like Office 365, etc. Uh, LibreOffice. Now, as far as video editing goes as a workstation, I'm not too sure if something like DaVinci Resolve 18 would work fluidly as far as rendering video. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know. But something simple like this Movavi software that I used to use back in 2016, all the way up until earlier this year, uh, something very simple that I used for 1080p video editing, I could use on a ThinkPad like this. So that about wraps up my video. Video and hopefully it helped you out. Let me know in the comments if this helped or if you have anything else to add or especially what you use the T480S for in 2023. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.